Here's a wild tour story in Jamaica with my manager, Big J. He was smoking good. He almost ain't make it home. You know, my manager got a problem with smoking weed, right? He's a true weed head. I really don't indulge. I don't mess around with weed. I never smoked. I never drank. You know what I mean? But I'm always on him. I was always on him at that time. I said, man, today I'm going to buy you some weed in Jamaica. You know, we in Jamaica. We chilling. I'm going to buy you some weed. We get outside the hotel. I mean, they, they selling it right there. Like, wow. So I'm like, all right, here you go. Here you go some money, man. Go ahead and get you some weed. So he got him some. He was smoking good, too. He like, yeah, man, this is good. This is good. So I'm like, all right, cool. We're on our way back to Chicago from Jamaica. We're, <laughs> this, is, this is hilarious, I'm sorry. We're actually in like the TSA line. And now everybody's being checked. I know I'm good, you know what I'm saying? I don't smoke, so I'm cool. Jay has this weed on him that we bought. He still has some more of it left. And he don't want to get rid of it. It's too good. The TSA person say, Okay, um, you beeping, so we have to pull you to the side. I'm like, oh shit. I'm thinking right now, like he still got his fucking weed on. He said, um, what's in your left pocket? Jay did this and said, nothing. What's in your back pocket? Jay did this, nothing. <laughs> so he worked all the way around these fucking pockets, man. To the point where they was like, we just gonna pull you to the back room. You don't wanna be honest with us, pull you to the back room. Now, we had a rep with us and said, listen, this is what you do. This has happened several times. What we need you to say is, they smoke weed. That's all I see is weed movies from Jamaica. This is where I thought it was gonna go down. That's, you know, that's your spill. You thought it was legal over here. So when we get to the back room, he's already talking to him. I'm not back there yet, you know what I mean? So he's back there, he's having this whole spill with them like, man, you're gonna be in trouble. We either gonna keep you over here for six months or we're gonna let you go. Now, I don't know this. So once I once they did let me come in to talk, I come in, I'm like, yo, what's the fine? Let me pay the fine for what it is. They said, no, this ain't no fine, bro. Either he's gonna do six months or he's gonna be, you know, or he's gonna let him go. So we was in there and he was like, well, what happened, bro? What, I mean, why, why did you have this week? He said, man, y'all, every movie I've ever seen, that's all they do in Jamaica is smoke weed. I thought it was legal, bro. And for some strange reason, it worked. And he got on the plane. The plane was just barely about to leave us too. So I feel kind of lightweight. It was my fault too, because I definitely bought the weed for him. But I ain't never buying no more weed, I'm telling you. <laughs> When you come in and you're doing something that everybody else is not doing, you have to have a sense of if you believe you can achieve it. That's how D'Angelo, why D'Angelo's D'Angelo. That's why Prince is Prince. I was like, I don't know what you want me to do. Like, we don't wear the same size. So uh, and it was just a moment, you know, and the music was going. So he ran out there, took his pants off, and finished the show in his boxers. You know, I ate good, you know, nice chunk of the brownie. I ate most of the brownie. And I remember looking, sitting in my hotel room, and I was laying there. And, and, the, and the ceiling starts spinning. Everybody ate the mushrooms, we had to do the sound check, and then I'm in my room trying to figure out, like, how I'm gonna get myself out of the drain, because I just felt like I was, I'm, like, 